Hi, I'm Baptiste Collard. I'm a field engineer at uh, Solo.io and today we speak about the filter flow and more specifically how these filters are organized and how they do chain together in, in Glue Edge. So as you know, Glue Edge is the control plane that will push some configuration to Envoy. And when client requests come to Envoy, they will go through different filters before reaching any upstream service. But what does an Envoy configuration look like? Well, if we have a look at this simple Envoy configuration file, then you can see two different blocks. The first one is listeners and will define the server sockets. The second block is named clusters and that will define upstream servers. A listener is bound to a network filter chain and the most common network filter is the HTTP connection manager. This allows you to define routes based on domain names and on matchers. Here we have a simple matcher that will catch every request. This request will be applied HTTP filters with some specific configuration before being forwarded upstream. Luckily, Glue Edge makes things easier by letting you split the configuration using custom resources. With the upstream CRDs, you can define Envoy clusters and some configuration in relation to those, to those upstream servers. With virtual services or root table CRDs, you can define the filters and their options that will apply on a route. From this point, you may wonder how these filters are linked together. That's a good question. So let's go step by step. I first start with the export filter. This filter will connect to the Glue export server where you can configure different kinds of built-in authentication and authorization policies. You can even build your own policies and you can mix them all together. I will come back to this in my next talk. Now the JOT filter. So basically you can verify your JOT signature and check its claims and also add them to new headers. You can also apply this JOT uh, filter before the export filter. Now the transformation filter. So you can apply transformation templates or on the headers or on the body. If the body is a JSON payload, you can extract values from it. You can also apply this transformation filter right before the export filter. And with those three filters, transformation, JOT, and export filter, you can enable the option called clear root cache. What is it? So basically, when the request comes to Envoy, then the HTTP connection manager will first select a route matching the headers. And when you had new headers with those filters, you can ask the HTTP, HTTP connection manager to clear the route that was picked and so that you will be able to dynamically select new routes at the end. And this is a really cool feature. So now the rate limiting filter uh, will also call an external service called the rate limiting service that will apply your policies. And it comes with a nice API called the set style API that helps you to build complex rules really easily. It's really worth a try. You can also move, uh, you can choose to move this filter before the export filter. This is a global option. And there are many more uh, filters. I won't explain them all, but this is the big picture that I could draw here. Uh, so now a few other tips. Um, first, the direct response. That is an option that will be evalu evaluated at the very beginning of the flow by the HTTP connection manager. So 
if you choose to directly respond to your client with uh, uh, 401 response, then this will be applied at the very beginning. Uh, also, um, basically with most of the filters like rate limiting calls, well, when you set these options both at the virtual service level and also at the root level, then the policy set at the root level will take precedence. And finally, the airbag filter requires the JOT filter to read the principal. Just before moving to the next slide, uh, I would like to add that all of these filters are applied only if you use the associated option, otherwise they are not active. So the final filter in the flow is the router filter. This one is in charge of adding or removing request or response headers. And it is also in charge of applying prefix rewrite, host rewrite, or regex rewrite. And also in charge of um, everything that is related to, to the upstream servers, like uh, timeout settings and retry policies, outlier detections, and so on. As a final note uh, regarding the export filter, when you use the OpenID Connect policy, and if you set the callback path or the logout path, just bear in mind that the request will first go through these different filters before reaching the export filter. So for instance, if you are using the course options, then your request will first be applied the course settings before reaching the export filter for the callback. That's it for now. Thank you.